Hey everybody, it's John Swartz with Miller and we're here at Pure Vision in Simi Valley, California. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the benefits of frequency adjustment for your aluminum applications. And speaking about one specific application here with the Twin Turbo Camaro, we're going to be doing a modification with the uh, radiator that's on here. And the reason why we're doing that modification is because of some of the cool things they're doing here at Pure Vision. Uh, there isn't enough um, hood to radiator clearance, so we had to, to modify where some of the bungs are for the, the radiator itself. So we're going to be patching up uh, a hole in the radiator and relocating where some of the fill tubes are. We're here right now with Aaron Cranford, one of the fabricators here at Pure Vision, and he's going to be doing the welding on the radiator piece. So he's going to be putting in uh, the gussets for the L bracket and the, uh, the basically we want to call it a cover or a cap over the, uh, the bung hole that was there beforehand. Um, we're going to be using the Dynasty 200 DX with adjustable frequency, and um, we're going to let Aaron set it up the way he prefers on this entire piece. And then afterwards, we'll kind of show what the capabilities are of the Dynasty, but more importantly, we'll show what the differences are in frequency and how that affects the pieces of material you're going to be welding on. So Aaron, why don't you give me an idea as to the, the settings, frequency settings, that you're going to be using on these two different welds you're going to be working on. Okay, the cover plate, I'm probably going to run about 100 hertz. And then on the gusset plates, because I want it a little bit more narrow, more penetration on the bead, I'm going to run at 150. Okay, great. So for this one, since I only need it in a very tight area, I'm just going to turn the hertz up a little bit okay. so it kind of focalizes the, the actual arc. Okay. Yeah. Now that Aaron's all done welding up the radiator, let's talk a little bit more about what that frequency adjustment really does. Now when Aaron welded in that top piece, he had the frequency set at 100 hertz, and then when you welded in the gusset pieces along that L bracket, you had it at 150. Now that was all based off of his preference and what he wanted that B profile to look like, but let's kind of adjust on the extremes for what the Dynasty 200 is able to put out to show what that B profile will look like on the top and low ends. Here we've got the machine set up at 30 hertz, so that's 30 um, beats or cycles per second. Um, that's giving you that low hum that you're hearing right now. But what it's doing to the bead is it's actually spreading the arc out wider, so the bead profile itself is going to be wider and your penetration is going to be less. So now let's go all the way up to the 250. Now this is the top setting for the Dynasty 200 and we'll see what that looks like. So on these two pieces, this first one right here is it's in the machine set at 30 hertz, again at around 120 amps. And this piece right here, you can tell with the narrower bead profile, is set at 250 hertz on the frequency at the same 120 amps. You see how much narrower the bead is, so it's now focused the arc into a smaller area. Um, same amount of amperage, but it gives you a completely different bead width or profile. And on both of these, this is with the, the pedal all the way to the floor, so you're getting the full 120 amps. So now we've got the back side of the two pieces. The one on the right, you'll see with the uh, penetration all the way through, that was with our setting uh, frequency-wise at 250 hertz. 
The one back over here was the original one we did, only at the 30 hertz. Again, same amperages for both.